two deadly shootings in less than 24 hours. Overnight, nine people killed in Ohio after a shooter ambushed downtown Dayton on a busy Saturday night. Thank you, dispatch. We got shots fired. We got multiple people down. Ah. We're the multiple medics. I got everybody coming to you. 26 now confirmed hurt after that gunman opened fire outside a popular bar right around, around 1 a.m. Eastern Time. Police say the suspect had a long gun and wore body armor. Officers shot him within one minute of that first shots fired call. The mayor of Dayton commending first responders just moments ago. Well, this is a terribly sad day for our city. I am amazed by the quick response of Dayton police that saved literally hundreds of lives. This morning, the FBI is on scene. So far, no word on a motive. The shooting in Ohio comes hours after another deadly shooting at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas. A gunman opened fire on a busy Saturday afternoon, killing 20 people and injuring dozens more. It was the most horrendous thing I ever saw, brother. And uh, I saw the shooter maybe 20 feet from me. Just started shooting it. A 21-year-old suspect is in custody. Governor Greg Abbott vowing to prosecute anyone responsible to the max. Listen, this is dis disgusting, intolerable. It's not Texan. And uh, we are going to aggressively prosecute it, both as capital murder, but also as a hate crime, which is exactly what it appears to be. Alyssa Maisner from our affiliate in El Paso is here with the latest. Alyssa. Yeah, guys, it's really a somber mood here. Now, almost 19 hours after tragedy struck this, struck this Walmart here in East El Paso, 20 killed, 26 injured. You can see behind me a very active scene still. El Paso police, sheriff, deputy, state troopers still here investigating, expected to be here for quite a while. Now, we are uh, expecting a press conference update at about 10 o'clock local time, but what we do know is that yesterday morning at about 10.30, a 21-year-old white male shooter entered the Walmart, uh, killing 20 and injuring 26, leaving behind very a very graphic scene. Now, he was arrested just about a block and a half away from here uh, shortly after. Without incident, he was taken uh, into custody alive and is now sitting in jail on a capital murder charge. But, you know, the, really the question now is why uh, here? Why, why El Paso was attacked? And the El Paso Police Chief Greg Allen uh, tells us that they found a manifesto that they believe was written by that shooter filled with very racist and hateful language. Uh, and it's believed that this could have been possibly a hate crime, as you heard from uh, Governor Greg Abbott from just a moment ago. Uh, so that's the consideration uh, now. Um, but really, the, the community is just in mourning. We want to uh, let you listen into El Paso Mayor DeMargo reacting uh, just a few hours ago. Mayor, how do you get our city ready well, here's for 20 families? I don't know. We've never done this before. I would hope and pray we'd never have to do it again. But we'll do it. And we're going to survive because that's who we're all. That's what we're about. You know, the community really just, again, shaken here. You know, people have been sending us messages. They're afraid to sleep tonight. Some even thinking that they may have heard gunshots in their neighborhood. But El Paso police told us that there are no other um, incidents of, uh, of any confirmed shootings or any active threats. Uh, again, support pouring in from the community. We want to quickly show you the tweet from Senator Ted Cruz uh, from just a few hours ago. My heart is with everyone in El Paso struck by this unspeakable evil. And that really is uh, evil, the, the only way to describe what happened here. We'll be continuing to follow this story and bring you the very latest for now. Reporting live in East El Paso, Alyssa Meisner.